Good morning, lovely people, and welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. Uh, I'll be Nat, and this will be the Knackers Yard. Um, again, with still with not a lot knackered in it. Um, the XS650, this has been... Um, I've had a lot of advancement on this over the last few weeks, and it is there. It it, it, it revs beautifully, it warms up on both sides. Um, it's led to what I think has been some of my more interesting footages as I've been finding my way around this. Um, today will be slightly less interesting to start with because it's now doing stuff that needs to be done. Um, today, task is to sort out this cluster of a fuse box. That, don't get me wrong, it works, but um, the original was uh, just the glass fuses. A couple have been replaced out with the blades. That one's been completely bodged on. Um, because one of the stands has broken. Oops, sorry. One of the stands underneath there has broken. Uh, so what? I've got my old of a cheapy kind of universal. Uh, upgrade it to blades because nobody uses these anymore. They rattle out and the uh, the housings just break. Um, now the question is whether or not I ripple that out and just dump it there, which is probably my preferred option. I don't think that's too high under the seat. I will check. Whoops, sorry, missed. I don't think that's too high under the seat. I will check. Uh, failing that, it's all on the main fuse cable, which terminates underneath there, so there's no reason why I can't just drag it round to the side. It really depends on the length of the cables and whether or not I want to extend it, but what I'm going to do is strip this out and have a look first. All it's mounted on is a plastic plate that covers the battery, uh, just to keep some of the elements off a little bit, although obviously the seat's on top as well. Um, so that's going to be the principal job for this morning, um, is just to swap that out. Once I've done that, I haven't ridden it since I used my homemade uh, manometer over here, my uh, carb sink tool, uh, to sort out that left bank, which is now thoroughly sorted. So once I've done that, I will take it out for a quick boogie um, just to see what difference it makes, if any. And I am expecting a difference. Um, so if you don't want to see me piss around with uh, electronics or changing out the fuse box, uh, I'll stick a time down the bottom here, the point when I go to a test ride particularly if you're a uh, excess enthusiast and just want to see how it rides now. Um, a couple of introductions, some new members of Team Knackers Yard. Uh, I've got my bench grinders arrived. I've got the spindles on it to run off the pads. So I am all good for me polishing palaver. So to be known as Nick, uh, named after... Um, a good mate on this that does some amazing work on it in terms of um, Motorcycle Man UK and I'll stick his uh, link down the bottom as well but um, top advice from Nick um, really big really good bit of kit so that's 400 watt so well happy with that um, and it's awesome happy um, it's not going to be mounted there it's just chucked there because I need to clear some space first um, and then what arrived this morning is a little rotary tool this is only a cheapy one it was second hand off eBay uh, I'm going to see how I get on with it. Uh, really, yeah, I really want a Dremel. I want a proper name, but they're actually quite expensive. So I want to see whether or not I get enough use to justify out of it. So to be known as Nick Jr. because he's mostly going to be used for polishing stuff. Um, what else? What else? Uh, one of the principal bits that, because I've got this till April, um, realistically, until it becomes uh, 40 years old and we get all the uh, MOT benefits and road tax benefits, etc, etc, and ULES benefits if you're in London. Um, so I want to tidy up some stuff. Now there's quite a few bits on this that just need tidying. Um, some scratches on the chrome, which I'm sure I can do something with, but um, I'm not overly concerned. I don't want this. This isn't a pristine show bike. I just want a pretty old bike. Um, I was going to whip the forks off and have a go at the forks, but actually I've had a little, you can kind of see there, that is literally sort of 30 seconds with uh, auto sole, which I've got sand in somewhere, there we go. Uh, great stuff. That's by hand with a rag, with a finger, just rubbing, and, and actually I think that's going to be good enough for me. Um, so at some stage it's going to be wheel off so I can get to them properly. I, I could take them off and do it, but frankly, for the embuggerance of it, I might just take the mudguard off, wheel off, obviously brake caliper off, and just give it a tidy up rather than necessarily a, a pristine, perfect um, shine. 
Um, ditto around the headlight. I think the rubber has just tarnished around the clocks. Yeah, so I'm going to go onto the uh, XS um, Facebook site and see if anyone knows where to get hold of the rubber grommets around it, but um, the grommets have pretty much perished away. But that's fine, that's not a drama. Uh, any other stuff? Uh, we'll be using the new bench polisher. Uh, we'll be using Nick to do the side panels on both sides. I'll give the exhaust a go over as well, and obviously the exhaust pipe themselves. The key bit for Nick Jr. for the Dremel esque is just to tidy up these. So I'll whip the uh, rust off it, um, find a decent paint, I think, and just give those a go over. Probably do some of the bolts as well, uh, just to tidy them up. Obviously, the uh, valve covers need a bit of cleaning off as well. I'm not going to go to town on it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and create a show bike out of a 40-year-old bike that hasn't had that much love. Excuse the car, hasn't had that much love, but it's not been neglected either, so it just needs tidying up. Uh, and I may as well use the time constructively that I've got. Um, I mean, even the chrome's in quite good nick. It's, yeah, that's not too bad. It just needs, just needs tidying up and cleaning up, um, and lubing up in some cases as well. Now the wheel, you can see it's been tried to be polished. But I just think it's just whitened out. Sorry, missed. Just whitened out over time. So, uh, yeah, again, um, it's just a, a clean and a polish up. Right, I'm going to get on with this um, fuse box and then jump back in and we'll see how it looks. What I'm literally going to do is cut off, cut off, re-terminate, and these are just spayed. Um, terminations. Uh, the crucial bit they've got is to make sure that I remember to connect the right bit to the right bit. But hey, all good fun. Right, cool. I'll catch you up in a bit. And a short time later, and it actually is quite a short time. I've quite enjoyed doing this. It's just been um, uh, parked up on my little chair with my little electronics kit. Um, yeah, so um, looking a lot smarter. A little bit of extra tape on there as well, but looking fundamentally neater. Um, just gonna what am I gonna do first? Well I suppose I better check that it works. <laughs> right, so it looks like I've got power. because it is a little bit higher than was uh, I can't do that one-handed yep not a drama fits on nicely right um, I do need a padlock for this at some point or a lock because it just uh, unclips Hang on. yeah so looks a little bit ungainly I suppose but it's a damn sight safer than it was right so what do I need to do now it's got a little bracket holes in there. I'm just going to drill a cut of holes in the top and find a way of securing that. Be right back. Okay, so following the golden rule of, uh, golden rule even, of never changing a plan when you're halfway through it, I've changed my plan. I didn't like it was too bulky. This was too stretched, etc. So I have gone for the side option. So just lobbed it on there. Also gave me a good excuse to use my Dremel tool, uh, Nick Jr. Um, uh, just to whip the top off there. Um, so drilled a couple of holes through the battery box, which took forever. Um, combination of, they used to really build these bikes strong, uh, and also I really need some decent drill bits. Um, but, so, chuck that on. And that is all good. Um, yeah, all good in the hood. Right, before I forget, and before I throw stuff away, that is what it used to be on and you can just make out the markings of what they are so I'm just gonna 
scratch some letters into that so that I know and the future road knows what is what because um, that would be a real pisser right let's get that done right so that's the side back on it all works and everything um, I have put the fuse box container back in if for no other reason than it wedges that down nicely um, and besides if anybody wants to return it back then it leaves them the option to do it because on a 40 year old poxy little things like this are a nightmare to get hold of um, yeah and uh, without it that top the battery cover would just rattle because it is quite a rattly old boy um, right I'm gonna chuck the seat back on and give it a spin okay let's give it a go Choke out, it's not moved for a week. The sun is it's certainly warmer, but it, it's not warm. Let's see how she goes. Oh, 
ratio. Lovely. Oh, fab. Whew. Right, I'm coming down from my high a little bit. Something about this bike. I mean, all bikes make me smile. That's why I do this. But um, puts a whacking great grin on your face. This does. Um, it's difficult to explain. Um, so what? Both cylinders working beautifully. It pulls away. It's still a bit poppy, but I think that might just wear out. Um, I've really done no miles on it. I've only ever done round the round the block with it. Um, what next? What next? Indeed. Um, it is smarting up now. That um, fuse box was one thing that I really wanted to do because it was just dodge. Uh, and there's a few times the fuses just rattled out and it just died on me as I was riding. Um, so uh, that's all sorted, a lot smarter and tucked away around the side. Well happy with that. Um, I'm going to start cleaning it up now. I was going to do that on the bench, uh, on the bench um, grinder, polisher uh, on Nick. But I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to do that. Um, uh, leave it on the bike, take the wheel off, take the mug guard off. And do it with a drill with this with the uh, um, uh, polishing wheels on it um, because I don't think I need to sand it down at all I think that is just schmeg that's going to come off with the uh, polish so happy with that uh, working my way up uh, Nat remember you need to make inquiries about those about the seals but that just needs tidying up and smartening up um, what else ah I haven't covered it actually I have bought Another one of these, uh, it arrived, um, it was arrived as non-working, which was fine because all I wanted was the switch gear out of it for the high-low beam. So that's on and perfect. The other one had snapped off, so under that bolt had snapped off, so you could do it just with bare fingers, but you certainly can do it with gloves. So, you know, for the sake of, I think, 15 quid it was, bearing in mind the whole new housing is sort of like 70 or quid because it's an old bike. Um, so that's sorted. Everything I need to get sorted is now sorted. It's now just the cosmetics, so... Uh, the rubber on there, I'm pretty content working my way back across the top. I've got wing mirrors to go on. Uh, I just don't put them on because I tend to bang into them when I'm in the garage. Um, then it's really a case of polishing and that. By polishing, I mean taking off the rust, the headers there, sorting out the pipes a little bit, take the side case casings off, get them polished on the uh, bench. I think my first attempt is going to be just to take the... Uh, uh, the side off there and just have a play with the bench see how it works and then it's just tidy up under all of this is all pretty good it's just smeggy dirty and obviously the back wheel but well happy uh, so next video is probably going to be my attempt at polishing for the first time once i've cleared some space um, and i am going to chuck one up on the um, manometer on the uh, carb sink tool that i made up just because a few people have asked so uh, why the hell not but I'll do that as a separate video, I think. Right, that'll do me for the day. Thanks all. Managed to achieve what I wanted to. Um, thanks to the new subscribers. Thanks to the original subscribers. Um, hope you're enjoying it half as much as I am. Cheers all. I will catch you later. Ta-da.